Greetings YouTube, I'm back with another episode of Game Over Johnny. I know it's been a while since we've talked, but today I got a Retron 5 from a friend, and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, here it is out of the Hyperkin bag, and this is what the box looks like in a box controller. So you can see it has a lot going on. Obviously, you know, it plays five different systems, it comes with a wireless controller. Now let's open it up and, and see what the contents actually look like. Okay, here's everything out of the box. You can see all the cartridge slots. There's four of them right there. Now if we go ahead and we lift it up, and just pop this up right here. And there's the GBA slot and the power button right there. So let's, uh, let's look at the controller ports. They're on both sides. They look just like that. Super Nintendo, Nintendo Genesis. And then if we see this space, that's for if you have a power base converter, I guess you can rest your controller in there. But that was, I believe, designed just so the power base converter could rest in it for the master system. So here's the back HDMI port, the AC cable, um, the mini USB for. Uh, charging your wireless controller and an SD slot. And I'm curious what uh, we'll be able to use that. Maybe just save states. And there's a little Retron sticker on the back. Okay, now we're going to look at the controller. See it here? That's where you plug in the mini USB for charging. And then we have the HDMI cable, the mini USB charging cord, three plug adapters, which is really great if you live in a different region and the AC adapter so not a lot going on there here's the controller gotta say I don't love this controller um, buttons are fine if you see here on the home it's a little castle that's cool these shoulder buttons though I don't know about that and this care how clicky that is that might drive me crazy I guess it's good that you can uh, use the standard controllers. Okay, the Retron is all loaded up. It's ready to go. I've paired the controller, which you must do when you first uh, plug in the system. And I've got the games ready to go that we're going to test. And let's take a look at them real quick. For the Sega Genesis, we have Hon Contra Hardcore. For Super Nintendo, Wander of Yeez. For Super Famicom, we've got uh, Secret of Mana. For Nintendo, we've got Mario Brothers Duck Hunt Combo. For the Sega Master System, via the Power Base Converter, we're going to use Castle of Illusion. And for the GBA, we've got Zelda. And hopefully it's backwards compatible, and we'll get uh, WWF Superstars of Wrestling. And Final Fantasy, not pictured for the Famicom. Okay, here you can see the menus. We've got Play, Game Menu, Settings. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings really quick and see what's in there. So... We get the, there's video settings, audio settings, controller settings. There's some system settings down here that you can play around with. Really what you're going to want to look at the most, I think, is the video settings. That's where most people are going to be tweaking. You're going to be able to tweak your aspect ratio, your screen size. You're going to be able to change the scaling. You're going to be able to change the resolution, whether you want it native or what, uh, what your choice is, the refresh rate. Um, you can change the GUI sound effects, which I recommend you do. It's, it's really loud when you first load it in. The default on that, uh, it's an abrasive sound. So go ahead and turn that down. And then you can you can do a lot with this. And I recommend you check out the manual, Google some of this stuff, so you can, you can dial this in exactly as you want it. Here's just a fast look at uh, the video settings. If you can, I know it's a little blurry since we're recording here, but... I do recommend you check that out. This is probably where you're going to get most of your use in the settings menu. Okay, here's our first test. We've got Super Mario Brothers. I played a little bit beforehand, so we're starting at World 1-2. You can see the colors were really bright. It looks good. It feels good so far. The controller is very precise. It's a little clumsy, the shape, and that might just because I'm used to the original Nintendo controller. Uh, it is still clicky, but I'm getting used to this controller, and uh, you can see, if I had a regular Nintendo, I think I would have survived right there. So, we're back. I don't notice any lag. I don't see any jaggies. I've got the screen stretched right now, 
but I think it looks solid. I, I'm not noticing any gameplay issues. I've played this game a lot, so I'm very familiar with it, and this feels like it should. I'm, I'm not noticing anything out of whack here. Up now we have for the Super Nintendo, Wanderers from Yeez 3. Um, go ahead and look at this. It's the title screen. Looks pretty good. The text is nice and clean. We're going to let it um, just show the, the start screen, kind of two different style cutscenes that you'll see on the Super Nintendo. We're not going to... We're not going to watch all of them. They're kind of long, but just to give you an impression. And now, here's the second cutscene. Again, the text is nice and crisp. And then we're going to get to the uh, actual title for like the third time in this game right here. And this is more what the gameplay footage looks like. And it looks good. Um, I, I don't have it stretched. I have it in its normal aspect ratio. Okay, I want to move on to uh, Repro and Homebrew games right now. I've already tested some Genesis ones, and those ones have worked perfectly. The problem I hear is with Super Nintendo games and Nintendo. As you can see, I have Crimson Echoes in here, and it says no card, nothing is illuminated. There's just nothing going on. I think we're going to have to wait for either an SD card patch or some, some way to manipulate the map or to get it to read these games. And now we're looking at Contra Hardcore. This is for the Sega Genesis. I've played it before, so it shows exactly where I was. It's got Genesis illuminated in the lower left corner. It's got my previous gameplay over on the right. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up. And we'll show you how this game looks. Okay. I guess we'll try Fang. Did not like that of that character. Here we go. So this is how this looks. We're, we are playing um, in the original aspect ratio. It's not stretched. Overscan is off. Text looks clean. Um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can change on the fly. Change uh, the settings real quick and see if that affects anything. So let's stretch the aspect ratio. Let's turn the overscan off, and let's let's give it a whirl like that. Yeah, even stretched, I feel like it looks pretty good. I don't know what you guys think, but let's be ready this time. Yeah, this is stretched and. I surprisingly don't hate this. So this is GBA. This game is a little more my speed rather than Contra. So looks pretty good. I've just lost my shield. That's a real bummer. Uh, title screen looked a little stretched. I know everything um, on the camera. It isn't picking up the actual detail. But it looks really good. I'm not seeing anything that's incredibly off-putting to me. Uh, it looks a lot better in person than you're seeing through uh, my iPad, which is filming this. It's I'm filming on an iPad mini, so... No, it's not the best camera or anything. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how this looks, actually. I wasn't too into the title screen. It looked a little bad. So, yeah, but this looks good. It feels good. The controller's feeling better all the time. Yeah. Anyways, there's GBA. Let's go ahead and see if it will play a regular Game Boy game. It says GBA on the system, but I'm hoping it's like a Game Boy player and it's backwards compatible. So, let's check that. There it is, WWF Superstars for the Game Boy. Okay, I tested this out initially so I knew it worked. See, I was mid-game. That's it all stretched. Uh, I can't tell if this looks bad because I've stretched it or if, you know, because it was a Game Boy game and it's so stretched and on such a big screen or 
And that's just what the original Game Boy had. Let's, let's see if it, we can make this look any better. A little bit, but but not much. If you recognize those people, that's Mr. Perfect, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, rest in peace, Million Dollar Man, and Macho Man. Oh, yeah, we get to be Mr. Perfect. Oh, I can switch who I want to be. Oh, man, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Fantastic. No limit. Let's do this. I like that they smack talk a little bit. So, I thought for sure that that was Hulk Hogan, but uh, that I'm actually wrestling against Mr. Perfect. Okay, if you can look, I've got the power base converter in there. We are playing the Master System game, Castle of Illusion. As you can see, the game does play. It does work with the power base converter. So that's nice. So for the Super Famicom, we have loaded up Secret of Mana. This game, all the colors are right. Feels good. The controls are nice and tight. I'm not finding any problems. I'm playing this in the original aspect ratio. Uh, I don't have scan lines on. I'm looking for problems and I keep not finding any. I'm waiting for something in this system to remind me that I'm playing a hybrid system, and I'm just not getting that. It feels no different than when I'm playing on the original system. Maybe someone else is going to put out their review, and they're going to say I'm crazy, but I'm just not finding the problems. I'm really enjoying this, and I'm more and more impressed with each game that I put in this machine. Now we're looking at Final Fantasy 1 for the Famicom. This is a game I've played more than most, so I know every inch of this game. If something was off, I would immediately know it. Flying in the airship feels just right. I've even got it stretched. I'm not noticing anything. I'm also one of these people who don't have a problem when you stretch things as much, but this feels perfect. I have to say, I'm super impressed. I, I thought this would be the one for sure where I would find the issue since it's a game I know so well. But even flying in the airship is smooth. There's just nothing I can find wrong. We've made it through all the games. We've seen the system work. Now my overall review. High marks. I'm very impressed with the Retron 5. It did more than I thought it would. It played better than I thought it would. And even the controller, which I had a lot of doubts about, performed better than I thought it would. This system... It uh, kind of is changing my mind on hybrids a little bit. I've always been a, an original system guy. I recommend that anyone who's on the fence, definitely if you have the ability, give it a test. It's not that expensive, and it, it does a lot, and it will consolidate if that's something you're interested in. I'm also really curious to see if we'll ever be able to play repros or homebrews on this, what they'll do with the SD card, and if people will be emulating this. If I do have anything negative to say... It will be a little bit about the cartridge slots and the difficulty in getting games in and out of the system. It's really tight. Uh, I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you what I mean. And I don't know if this is just because the system is new, but in between here in these spaces, you can see that, how flexy it is and bendy. There's nothing supporting it, so you can't really push your hand down on any other part of it to leverage it out. And when the carts are tight, you know, it's... It's hard to deal with, and I think you could definitely break this piece if you weren't careful. Surprising, because the rest of the build quality on this system is very sturdy. It's long, it's solid. That's the only part that I felt was a little bit on the downside. Aside from that, everything is really good. I really like this system. It doesn't look out of place next to your modern consoles. It looks good in your house. I'm going to be really happy to... You know, park that CRTV probably permanently in the garage unless I find some other use for it. Again, thanks for watching, and please do check out my blog, gameover-johnny at blogspot.com. Thanks again.